person in tree is just starting to turn red, or it's actually been turning red for a, probably a week or so, I suppose. And persimmons are just starting to ripen up, so all the birds have gone crazy trying to eat them. So this year I have tried to protect some of them by putting little plastic boxes or gauze netting around them. These are old empty boxes that you buy, grapes and things like that, and put them around. You can see there's one persimmon inside that one, a couple of persimmons inside this one. It's like having a mini hothouse. Otherwise the birds will eat the whole lot of them in no time. See one hiding in there. That's a bit of the netting which has a similar effect, although sometimes if the birds are really angry they'll peck straight through the netting. These are my bok choy and spinach I planted about three weeks ago. They're coming on nicely, probably start eating them this week. These are red bok choy that I've never tried before. They probably won't taste any different, but they look interesting. These spring onions have grown enormous, they're the biggest ones I ever grew. I must like the soil there. And this year I'm really trying hard to get lots of seeds going. These are all beetroots sprouting from the seeds. And those are onions and uh, some tiny spinach and even a couple of broccoli hiding in there. Those are more broccolis there, a few weeks old. All these ones are a mixture of onions and turnips and some more onions down here. You can just see them, little tiny pieces starting to poke up on that one. Down here, these are another big lot of beetroot. I haven't had much success with beetroot keep getting eaten by something, so I keep trying to grow more and more of them. Some more onions, they're quite slow, they're just one little bit sprouting there. 